Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to show you a combined comparison chart. So the idea in this video is that we're trying to compare two values, in this case, the income and the expenses. At the same time, they're plotted quarterly. So creating that series okay, from the left to the right. But at the same time, we also want to compare two segments, segment A and segment B. So this has a, this is a chart that has a lot of things going on and maybe you want to present this simply by doing two charts or maybe three charts so that you could uh, present the information better. But if you really need to or if you really want to present your chart this way, so how do you create this? Okay, so let's start. So one thing to remember is that each column will be one color in the chart. So right now we have four colors, right? We have the dark or the bright blue and we have the faded blue. We have the bright orange and we have the faded orange. So this implies that we have to have four columns. So we will segregate, okay, segment A, another one, and segment B so that we have uh, the one for the dark, okay, the incomes, and then the one for the expenses. So we will do that like this because we want the expenses to have a different color. So therefore, they need to be in different columns. The next thing that you will notice here is that there is a gap, okay, between our quarters. So for that, we also have to put that in the table. Remember that everything you see in the chart is actually a manifestation of what is in the table. So if you see some gaps and no gap between the quarters or the income and expenses, it implies that the income and the expenses in your data are right beside each other or adjacent to one another, while the quarterly data is segregated or separated Okay, from each other, which means that as you could see, what I'm doing now is I'm creating an extra row okay, that will have no value. And in the chart, this will be represented okay, as blank spaces. So we're now going to plot the chart now that we have the combined combination table ready. So for this one, Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to highlight okay, our data. So let's say uh, this one. And then we have to go to insert. And what you're seeing there is actually a stacked column chart. So we're going to choose a stacked column. And you should see that we're almost there, right? We can see four colors. We can see a gap in between the income and the expenses. So we simply have to modify this. So first, we will modify the bright orange ones. And based on the image, they should become the blue ones. So I will turn them as dark blue. On the other hand, the ones here would be the light uh, blue. Uh, the bright orange ones, I mean, this one here. Okay. So I'm choosing the color I can see, uh, probably this one. Or if you want, you can simply go to more fill colors and choose a brighter orange. Okay, I think this will do. And then we also want the yellow ones, okay, which is... Uh, equivalent to segment B to be of a light blue color. And I hope you notice how I am using the same color but of a different shade. So it would be easy to associate okay, the two segment uh, Bs. So the one that is the darker one is the income and the light one will be the expense. So you don't just choose any color that you like. It may be better to, you know, uh, choose the same color so that they can easily be associated with each other. Which means that for the last uh, data series that we have, okay, the dark gray one, we can change this to a light 
orange color like that. So it's going to be easily comparable with the dark orange one. Now, the next thing that we are going to do would be to remove the gap in between the income and the expenses. So this means that I would need to right click and then format the data series so that I would put the gap into zero. So by having zero gap, it means that the income and expenses will go beside each other. But the quarterly uh, values are not going to be beside each other because we have that space preventing them to do so. So we're almost there. And the next thing that we are going to do is to put in the data labels. So I will check the data label here. In this image, I don't have the grid lines. So I will remove the grid lines, okay? And maybe the next thing that you notice is that the data, um, sorry, the axis labels actually indicate income for quarter one, quarter two, etc. So for that, I would have to create a separate column Okay, so that this column will be our label. So I'm going to insert, then I'll just name this Q1 income. Okay, and then this one will be Q1 expense. Expenses. Okay. And then I simply have to highlight okay, this and paste each okay and then change this to let's say two this one as well q2 this one will be q3 okay this one is also q3 this one will be q4 this one will be q4 as well so we need to refer refer to this one as our um, access label values so i will right click on this Okay, and then I will select data. And then once we select data, okay, we will have to change okay, as to where they are. So in this case, for the axis labels, we will edit this. And instead of referring to those cells, I would now refer to these cells. Click OK. So you now notice that our charts are properly uh, labeled with the correct quarter, okay, and whether they are income or expense. So the last thing that I want now would be to modify the title for incomes versus expenses. This is combined segment A and B, millions. You can have a different format for the in millions part. Okay. And there you have it. So you have to uh, modify how your table will look like. Because remember, charts will only reflect what is in your table. So if you want your chart to look like this, then you have to make some modifications on your table. And that's it for today's video. Hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one.